that's the overflow culvert. And it's like, this is almost, holy shit. Look at that. That's the overflow culvert. Our other culverts are way under there. Yikes. There's the overflow culvert. I'm gonna go see what this looks like on the bottom. Look at this. Our road is like so close to being washed away right now. If this got plugged up for any reason, that is it. Bye. So last night we had a pretty big storm and there was lightning, the thunder, there was thunder but it wasn't even really loud, like I don't know, I hardly even heard it. But it was raining super hard and we knew that this storm was coming and the crazy thing is that I work for a regional district and so, but we live in the regional district that's next to that one and so at my work we've just been preparing for crazy flooding and you know they went into a state of emergency at the end of the last week and everyone's been working this weekend just preparing for floods like they've got stuff around the downtown cores that were at risk to stop water from destroying the town because it's already happened uh, two years ago so you know, everyone there is really on edge and and they're just planning and it was actually really cool. It's my first uh, work experience in that kind of environment and to be in like an emergency operations center. So that was really cool, but it's just kind of amazing to see everyone just getting ready for this. And so anyways... The storm was coming Saturday night. Everyone knew it. We were preparing for a huge amount of water to be hitting all of the creeks and water systems early next week. And so the storm just, it ended up hitting our regional district area way more. I'm pretty sure way more. This is my driveway. Was my driveway. So we have a real rain event going on right now. As you can see by this creek right here. This is not supposed to be here. My uh, creek crossing, this is my driveway. My creek crossing has overflown, it's, it's, it's gone over the culverts. This morning was really messed up, really messed up. I saw that it started to go over so I called my neighbor to get our vehicles on the other side. And uh, we decided we were going to try to divert the water, which I'm glad we did. As you can see, this, route, this road would have been messed up had I not diverted the water into the creek. I mean, into the... The drainage that goes back down to the creek, thankfully, can't guarantee that there won't be a landslide um, or some, some sort of erosion. But this is the creek going over my road. Apparently this has happened in the past, the original landowner said, but I don't think it's happened this bad. Because this is going to this is gonna be a lot to fix. Um so we were Diverting water and uh, So a point here We were diverting water and We were walking towards the vehicles which were on the other side and my neighbor's friend fell off the edge 
trying, he, he was walking and he fell off the edge because the ground eroded from under his feet and we had to pull him out of a culvert. Now, let's get a little closer to this thing so you can see. Imagine pulling a man out of a culvert. That culvert is probably three feet below the water level right there. If it wasn't for my neighbor literally putting his foot on this guy, because he's a bigger, he's a bigger dude than I am. I was holding his arm. He put his foot on this guy and pushed him to up upstream. His legs were caught in the culvert with a piece of wood. He pushed him upstream just enough so he could get his knee out and we pulled him out. Can't believe I didn't puke. So it's gonna be a it's gonna be a long clean up here. And uh, hopefully the forest. Let me point in here. Hopefully the forest isn't too affected by a creek running into it right now. This is not typical to happen here. So BC is gonna go through some stuff. Like our area, where all this water goes down, it goes down to a, uh, uh, a little town. And that town has cars on, uh, off the road because of, of, because of the water coming from this creek and just spilling over the road. <sighs> There are evacuations many places around here. And I'm just happy that my place has no water near it. We're high and dry. Mind you, I've got humongous ponds and whatnot, ponding water uh, on my uh, road towards my place. But I didn't think I was gonna make a YouTube video about, about this today, but I'm making a YouTube video about it. And you know, this is, when you don't live in a house in a city, sometimes you just gotta deal with this kind of stuff. And I'm trying to find a way that Katie can get home now. Because this, there are two crossings. So that's what I was just showing you there. That is the crossing to our place. But there's another culverted area right above us, which is the only other way to get to this place from the other side. And if that is dangerous to cross, Katie's gotta hike up from the bottom from town and leave her, leave her vehicle in town and literally like hike up the, the mountain from town to get home. So, lots of excitement. I sure am glad that I got a, I got a neighbor like the, like the one I have. You know, a, a lesser person would be scared and run away. And he, and luckily er, my neighbor, he pushed through and put himself in serious danger by putting his leg in the creek and pushing this guy out of that culvert. Not a way anyone wants to spend a Sunday morning, but I'm glad that ultimately everyone's safe. And uh, all we're gonna have to do is just fix this road. When I left for work this morning at about 7.15, I looked at the culvert that we drive over and it was, there was a lot of water but it didn't seem anything out of the ordinary, like it was just kind of full but you know, I'm sure I've seen it like that before. And Greg came home 20 minutes later and the culvert, the whole like creek bed up to the road was, you know, it was getting close to breaching. And so meanwhile I'm at work and he's sending me messages and calling me and just like freaking out because the water started going over the creek and I mean the, the water started going over the road and I gotta mention there is a terrifying sound in the background that I don't think the phone can pick up we heard it louder earlier it's the sound of boulders coming down the creek which is scary it's, a, it's the sound of rocks tumbling down a swollen creek. Oh, damn, I probably can't even cross right here. Help! Oh, no, this is all right. Footage is gonna be a bit raw on this one.
So, let's see. Oh, no. It looks to me like the creek might have breached the overflow. We're so close to doing it. Oh, man. This is like the only way for Katie to get home today is hiking along here. And when when creeks do stuff like this, like when, when they flow over, you never want to cross. All you got to do is trip. And you're dead. You're dead. Holy shit. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's breached. Yeah, it's breached. God damn it. Not by much, though. Look at this. So, the culvert, I can't, I can't see, is right here where all this mud is. You can see it underneath there, that's the overflow culvert. If that thing gets blocked up, this road goes. There's no way I'm getting closer than what I am right now. We need the rain to stop. We need the rain to stop. I don't know if... Holy fuck, that's fucking scary. Jesus Christ. You hear this? It's like thunder. It's like thunder that's coming down. It's the sound of rocks tumbling down a creek. Oh. Anyway. Yeah, all day I'm at work preparing for flood somewhere else. And, you know, we're getting ready to evacuate people. And then our, there's a culvert up above our, ro our road. And that blew out, and the main road is um, closed right now because it's flooding the road. Two creeks have blown over the, the main road. So I couldn't even get home from work. I, we met our neighbors down below because I needed to park my car somewhere and come home. And we ended up hiking up our property. So, yeah. It's been a crazy weekend. I've been working overtime and I work Monday to Friday and then we just went through this weekend because of the emergency, state of emergency. And oh my God, it's just insane. It's insane. And I don't know when we're gonna be able to drive home because it sounds like the Ministry of Forest is gonna be taking out our culvert to get the creek going back into its own bed. So, it's crazy. It's just fucking crazy. I'm trying not to cry about it because I'm so exhausted. I've got a headache. I'm stressed. Greg has had crazy anxiety all day just trying to deal with this. And yeah. guys. Well, it's a beautiful day now. Uh, we are just got, got up, we got our coffee. We're gonna go walk up to the creek and see what happened overnight. I'm hoping that the water went back into the creek bed. And I know the Ministry of Forest guy was there and he said he was gonna be bringing a geotechnical engineer. 
So I don't know what what time their day starts, but I'm curious to know what they're thinking. What the hell are road base to build back on? Wow, that's crazy. That's going to take a lot of fill. We got our own little waterfall now. Oh, and unfortunately it's not back in the creek bed. Hinto, wait. Hinto, wait. At least that's going back into the creek bed right there. But we're jumping the gores, old girl. <laughs> Wow. So that's where our culverts are. That's the culvert from up above that blew out. And that used to be a solid area, solid hill with the pipe coming out. So our driveway is just right, right through there. It's about 50 meters or so. So this is the creek where the water should be coming down right now. Let's take a look here. It's this culvert that came down from above. It's a total diversion of every of, of the creek going out that way, which is causing the you know the the, the uh, damage on the road. It was when this thing came down is when it messed everything up here, and that's the big overflow culvert. Well, this is it. We're gonna be hiking in and out for a while. It's a mess in the back. So we're going to pick up my car now. Uh, it's parked <laughs> down at the neighbors on the property below. So now that we can access up to here, it's much easier for me to get home. <laughs> in the back. And with that, we're gonna leave you here and we'll see you next time. Maybe the, it'll be a video about fixing the road, maybe not. <laughs> Let's hope that's the case. So even though this was a pretty traumatic event, you just can't help but appreciate the beauty that's that is nature, you know, like but look at how fantastically beautiful that is. I'm really grateful that there was no disaster. There was no loss of life. <laughs>